everyone. I'm back. I know it's been a long time since I've been on, but I, I have just been busy doing things and I don't know, not feeling like I wanted to do a video. So today I am here to share this fabric journal that I've been working on. And this is a gift for my daughter who is like many of you out there have in your families, a purple girl, and she is our purple girl. And I've really, um, just during this time, it's come to my attention that uh, a lot of people with anxiety do really well. Um, one of the things that is good for them, um, along with different relaxation techniques, is actually having a, something with fabric and textile and things to touch and that to look at is very soothing and very comforting. And so I wanted to make her one of these fabric books. I've made a few and and I just never uh, made one for her. So this is the beauty that I have created. It is fabric pages with lace overlays with tons of embellishments on top. The outside cover is a lilac and white uh, doily that I have used over onto the back as well. And to the closure on it is uh, something that I have been doing a lot of lately and that is some slow stitching. I will link a video below because I can't think of the name of the lady that's the uh, origin, original person that started this but she shows different techniques and uh, um, I decided to do mine on a strip so that I could use it in a journal and then I decided to do this one. Uh, this isn't my first one. This is actually my second one. The first one I did was all in blues and yellows and it was just sort of fabric I grabbed really quickly that I had on hand and started doing it because I was kind of excited about doing it. This one I actually planned it out. This is a, a purple variegated sari silk that I had and then I used that and then just started stitching and adding embellishments and so there's lots of hand stitching all throughout the whole piece, lots of French knots, um, and then there's um, knots to hold down uh, little flowers that I've made and little pieces of em um, embroidery work that has been cut out. Um, and there's pins with uh, beads on them and also little pearls sewn on. One of my little beaded butterflies here sewn on. This is a butterfly that I had in my stash for a long time. It was a brooch and I used that and attached that on here as well. The spine is, I added a bunch of pins with beads all on them, which is another technique she shows to use when you're do, doing as part of your slow stitching. Cross stitch here, French knots, um, just, just lots of different things that you do and it, it's, it's so relaxing and so enjoyable. I just have found a new love for sure. I will open her up. She just ties shut with this lovely silk tie here. And it, I added um, a lace trim that I had and beaded, added beaded accent all on the, and the ends of each of the ties as well. This, the doily flips open and is attached on the spine. I didn't want to attach it down because I also wanted to decorate the front as well. So I have used a lot of laces and appliques and trims from Craft Supplies for You and I will tell you about them as we go through the book and I just all want to say too that uh, Craft Supplies for You is still has a 40% off sale. She's going to continue the sale for an undetermined amount of time and until uh, while well, stock lasts. So uh, if you haven't gone over and had a look in the store, uh, you might want to go and look. There's no code needed. You just uh, will find everything has priced 40% off. And she still has quite a bit of stock, so there's still lots of selection. And as far as I know, most of the items that I'm going to be showing you are still available as of a couple of days ago. So um, if you're having trouble finding anything and there's something you really want that I've used in the book, just uh, shoot me a, a comment down below and and I'll get back to you and try and help you. So on the cover, I have on the edge of the spine, I have used, this is from Craft Supplies for You, it's a beautiful lace with, it already has sequins and beads. 
on it and it's very sparkly and pretty. This is um, some sorry silk in behind and then the pages are made from fabric and some flat lace that I have in my stash. This is also a lace from Craft Supplies for you. It's one of my favorites. I actually, it has more on the bottom of it, but I always, the way I like to use it is always to cut it along the edge of all the embroidery work and use it that way. And this is one of the appliques from Craft Supplies for you. And it has iridescent thread, bugle beads, and seed beads and sequins all thrown, oh, can't talk, sewn throughout it. And it's beautiful applique and you get two of those when you order those. This, these two appliques on the corner of the book in the lavender are also from Craft Supplies for You. There's one that goes around the corner this way to here and then this one extends to here and they both are heavily laden with sequins and pearls and they have little drop pearls in the corners here too. They're just, they're beautiful. I've used them in other projects before. On the bottom of the book is one of her peacock laces. This is the newest one that's in the store right now. It's a double layered one. So there's one layer of the peacock eyes and then sort of a dangle, dangling down bit and then bigger peacock eyes and then more dangle at the bottom. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I actually put some of the old peacock trim that I had, I actually put that on first, forgetting that I had the new one. So I just added the new one on top because I had to have the new one on there. It's so beautiful. So this is the first page and this is sort of something that will remind her of me. I'm a big lover of hummingbirds and I so I had this um, napkin and I adhered it to fabric and I've put it on this page with lots of embellishments over top. This lace on the edge here, this lilac one with a little Dot polka dots is from Craft Supplies for You. And this one here is from Craft Supplies for You, although it is an older one and it had little mauve flowers on it. And I took them off and I sewed little uh, pearls on here instead. Uh, this lace at the bottom, the little fans, they look like this. That is from Craft Supplies for You. And that's a beautiful dangle lace. Page two is um, one of my tea bag holders that I've shown in other videos um, and I, I put a fabric picture on the front of it and the ties are all done with crystals and pearls. And this picture reminds me of her daughter Ashley. That's she had really really curly hair, thick curly hair and she still does but she tends to straighten it now but when she was younger at this age about six and um, we always called her our drama queen, so I put a crown on her head because um, from a very young age, when she came to tell you a story, you had to say, just a minute, let me sit down because you knew it was going to be long and drawn out. She never could tell you a simple story. It was always quite dramatic and, you know, that was sort of became a standing joke in our family and, and she's still, you know, that way. Um, this is a piece of applique from my stash, one of my crocheted flowers with beaded center. And it's a trim from Craft Supplies for You. This pretty little trim here it sort of looks like little loops. And it's a nice trim for going around something. The trim on the edge is from Craft Supplies for You. It's sort of, I call it the banner trim. And it ha looks like little banners. And I embellished it with some flat back pearls and some bling bits. And in this is like a double pocket because there's the pocket from the actual tea bag holder. And then I glued it only on the sides and at the bottom. So I created a second pocket at the back. So in the first pocket, I put a little uh, card with a lilac little fairy. On. And it's actually a, it's a, a card from uh, a deck of cards. And of course, it has to be the queen because this is the drama queen page. So it has another little fairy on it covering up the ugly queen on there. But I left the other evidence for the queen. And then this is the other tag that I created with some music paper on the back. Um, this one, her birthday is in January. And this little fairy has carnations in behind her. And so that reminded me of her as well. 
a lot of the pages I have added little beaded, well, I think all the pages, some kind of a beaded dangle. This is a little heart with a tassel. This one is some beads and a little, uh, a pretty um, mo a purple bead with a little rose inside of it. So, page three and four. This I made into a pocket page. I added a uh, fabric um, image on the front of this one in purples and with the dragonflies in the garden. Um, I've, I've always grown flowers and love flowers, so um, she has a love of flowers as well because of that. Uh, butterflies, uh, more little bits of dangle, just just want things in the book for that to be a constant discovery almost as you go through the book to be discovering all these little bits. There's another little dangle at the bottom here which is a piece of lilac trim, a little piece of that lace that was on the front cover and then a dangle that I've created out of some acrylic and these little dark purple acrylic little um, flower shapes are from Craft Supplies for You. She has those in, her, in the beading section. These little flowers are from Craft Supplies for You that decorate the side of this and I glued it in on the side and the bottom so that it could be a tuck spot and I've put a little journaling card in there and some purple paper notepad to write on and did a altered paper clip that I put on there as well. And then in behind here is a uh, butterfly and I bought these from China a long time ago and I embellished it with a bit of pearls and flowers and stuff. So just another little accent on that page. This is my flower page and I made her a beautiful, I call it an everlasting flower because it's never going to die. And it's a beautiful purple satin uh, with a lilac. These flowers are, this is from Craft Supplies for You, the flowers. They come in a package, you get a whole bunch on a stem. Use them before in projects, they're really pretty. Have a little pearl center. And I used, did a cluster of those in the center of this and I put some on either, sticking out on either side. And one of the Craft Supplies for You loopy flowers in the very center. Again, that same banner trim on the side. This time I used lilac and cream colored flat back pearls. And then I put a couple of butterflies on here, decorated up with more embellishments. This is that beautiful lace again that I showed at the beginning on the front page with all the beads and sequin sparkles on it. It's from Craft Supplies for You. This lilac one is from Craft Supplies for You. It's very pretty. I love it. It looks like bows and it almost looks like grapes hanging down. When I look at it, I always think that, but I really like it. And just some other trims from my stash. And this is another one that's from Craft Supplies for You. And it's a slightly gathered trim and another little bead dangle there and the last two pages uh, this one Ashley has always been very musical she sang in the musical theater when she was in in high school she actually um, tried out for Canadian Idol uh, many many years ago when she was in high school and um, it was a wonderful experience. Her and her father spent a couple of days in Vancouver standing in lineups and, and going through the audition, which she didn't make it past the first round, but she had a lot of fun. And it's an, a nice memory. So this page, I sort of did, I used the musical note that I had in my stash. Some of the lovely laces from Craft Supplies for You that you've already seen in the book, the banner lace, this one here, again, trimmed up. Some music paper a little bit of napkin that I had. I made a little booklet that this is actually a pocket and I made a little booklet out of paper and in, tucked it in here. This is has some significance. I did all the flowers and all the decorating for her wedding and she mar was married 10 years ago this past April and so this is some of the tool that I had from um, the decorating that we did and so I gathered and I knotted it and added it to the bottom of this page because it has a special significance. Under that is this beautiful rose trim from Craft Supplies for You. And under that is 
another trim from Craft Supplies for you. Looks like it's a, it's a dangle trim that looks like almost like mesh. And then they have one similar in the store, but I know this one isn't exactly in Craft Supplies for you, but they do have something similar. It has the like little leaves hanging down. And the final page is I made a, an envelope um, it, with decorative trim on the front. It has a little kitty cat on it, which I put even a little collar on her. Um, Ashley has a couple of cats, and so I thought this was really cute. And this is just, again, a napkin that I adhered onto a piece of cotton, and then I fussy cut it out, and then I glued it down on here. And I did a butterfly up in the corner that the cat looks like it's looking up at. And I did this all with beads and acrylic flowers and stuff. It's all hand, hand done. And I added in uh, another um, paper clip here that I did for her with a butterfly and little bits of uh, trims that I had left over and some nice uh, ribbon up top. And then there's another little... Um, journal card inside of here as well and then one of these little miniature envelopes attached on the top here with a pa with a little paper clip and that just opens up as well and again just things of interest fun to open look at um, I'll write some little notes in, in amongst that for her to find and read as well so um, it will be a lot of fun for her to go through and look at um what else oh here's one of these little charms i wanted to show this this is also from craft supplies for you she has these cute little charms in the shop that say made with love and they have a little key hanging off of them and so i've just put that on a on a garment pin with some beads on it as well but it's very cute and i think that's it for that page and oh i was going to say in the middle of each of the pages just f to uh, develop some contour with the pages and to create a binding. I used this uh, lace from Craft Supplies for You. It came without any ribbon in between and I uh, chose this purple ribbon and, and wove it into the middle of the lace and added that to each page. It's quite a wide lace. See this is the side of the lace here. That's how wide it is. Then there's the center and then there's that same width on the other side. Then there's this cotton piece in the middle that you can weave your um, ribbon through. And then I didn't quite like the edge of the cotton on there. So I used this lace from Craft Supplies for You. That's one I really love. And it actually comes both sides of these be connected together. I just cut them down the middle, separate them and use them separately. These tiny little flowers have almost an iridescent thread on the edge. So I did that throughout as well. Back page is the peacock lace comes around the back. I did it all the way around. Uh, just fabric and lace from my, from my stash. More of that pretty lilac ruffled ribbon with the polka dots on it. And I know she has that in a cream or white color as well. Um, and there's that lace again that I was talking about, the little strip and has the little flowers on it. And then the back of the doily comes around the back of the book like that. And this is the back side of my slow stitching that I've done with applique and you slow stitch all the way around to adhere it down add in beads, applique that I've slow stitched all the way around. And in some spots you can see where I've stitched it. In some spots I made the stitches really small so they're or in between here so you, they're not really noticeable. And then I've added pins with beads, another little made with love heart. This is a, actually a little yo-yo flower that I've attached on using um, uh, long stitches and French knots and a button that I have put on with a cross stitch. Uh, French knots all and cross stitch all through here and in the center of here the same idea that's a flower that has been put on with French knots and stitches. Here's just a cl cluster of seed beads that I've sewn all on there and this was a, a butterfly applique many of you are familiar with these and I added some bling onto it and then I stitched it all on hand stitched it onto the um, 
the strip that I was working on. Added more pearls and beads. And I, you just keep on adding things and adding things. And, and it's just, it's really relaxing and so much fun. Really enjoyed doing that. So there is my beautiful fabric book that I created uh, using tons of laces and trims from and appliques from Craft Supplies for You and also things from my stash and it's created for my daughter and um, I will be telling her that I'm putting up this video and not to watch it unless she wants to know ahead of time because I um, will be a little bit yet before I get to see her um, with uh, we're still sort of on lockdown and not doing too much traveling just yet but we're hoping that that is soon is lifted and we'll be able to get together and that's my share for today I hope you guys are all doing well staying safe staying well staying sane take care all the best to you and bye for now